Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. We have returned here in Red Cliff, and we might well go and see if we can tackle the castle now. Or do we go and see if we can get some more health potions on hand? That's the kind of dilemma I'm in here. We'll quick save as well since we're turning the quests. Probably a good idea. Hmm. What what would be the best thing to do? We have twelve health we have twelve health pulses and two lesser health pulses. We might have a greater one as well, I'm not hundred percent sure. Do we go back? We'll we'll quickly go to the party camp because I believe what do we actually need yeah. to make the health pulses? Right. So if we get plenty of distillation agents, we can make quite a few health potions. I think, if my memory serves me correctly, I think... Can we just travel directly, actually? Is that, a, is that a thing we can do? We can. We don't even have to leave the... I'm assuming it's just from like, unsafe locations you can't travel unless you leave the, the map directly. Uh... Right. So we'll have a word with Budan. I'm sure he sells this laser agents. I think it's You and your friends are formidable folk indeed. It's good. Let's see what he has. Yes he does. He does sell this laser agents. That's great. If he sell if he sold elf fruit, it'd be fantastic. I'd I'd have everything I need. They are quite expensive, aren't they though? That's the only thing. How many do we, how many should we buy? Let's buy ten. Let's buy ten. Does he have anything good that we can maybe buy? to help us out as well. Since we do have a lot of gold right now. See, that is... We could sell Brigand's Bow for a lot of uh, help, but then again, it also gives a lot of bonuses. I, don't, I, don't, I, think, I don't think we will. Uh... Maybe Morrigan can use that uh, staff. It's not really any better, is it, actually? No, it's not. The the oak branch is if it's from the, the tree, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's actually better. Let's have a look at these caps and things. Uh... See, there's the blood dragon stuff as well, which could be kind of you. Does Alistair have enough strength for that? No, not quite. So, so those boots would be very useful for Philadiana, actually, but they're they're very expensive. So I don't know if it'd be worth it to be honest. Uh, Jesus. Yeah, I, I don't think we can really do anything there. Hmm. Maybe we should try and get our weapons enchanted as well. Enchantment. Yes. Yes. Enchant. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Ah, we don't have any runes, bollocks. I thought we might have had runes somewhere. Actually, d enchantment. Oh, certainly. Do does he does, does this guy sell runes? Yeah, he does. Excellent. So we can maybe get something nice for our sword. A lightning rune, maybe. Yeah. Buy a lightning rune. Will it will enchant our sword with this? En Boom. Electricity damage. That's 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 useful. That'll help out. I don't think Bordan actually sells anything else overly, overly useful. Well, he does, but it's too expensive for me to consider. Because I kind of want to save a bit of money up. But yeah, let's let's head back to Redcliffe with our yes. uh, OG Indeed. party. Indeed. Alice is on... Me and Alice are on level 9. That's harsh. Morgan and Liana are hogging all the levels. But yes, let's go to Redcliffe. We'll make a few of our health potions, and we'll see how we'll see if we can tackle the castle.
It's probably going to go horribly. It always does for me. Uh, Monaghan. You get them health potions made, please. Thank you very much. So how many do we have now? 22. I think I, I think we'll manage. I hope. We'll probably find some others lying around as well, knowing our luck. Well, n n not knowing our luck. If we are lucky, we'll we'll find some some more lying around. But we'll we'll, we'll see if we can actually make some nice progress here now. Talk to Harith in the process, though. Move along, friend. Very well. Thank you. That guy doesn't seem particularly interested in talking. Is there anything in the windmill? Is there, is there reasons going to the windmill? No. But I noticed there's, there's like a hatch here. I, I bet we're going to have to go into the castle via this windmill hatch. I bet there's like some dodgy like sewer system or underground path or something like that. That's Probably. Odd how quiet the castle looks from here. You would think there was nobody inside at all. But I shouldn't delay things further. I had a plan. To enter the castle after the village was secure. There is a secret passage here in the mill, accessible. How good am I guessing? Family. Yes. Why did you enter the castle in the first place? I had no idea what lurked in the castle, and I couldn't abandon the people of the village. What if Maker's breath? What? What the hell's happening here? Who the, who's this? Tigan. Thank the maker, you yet live. He sold. You're alive. It's sold. How did you... What has happened? I do not have much time to explain. I slipped away from the castle as soon as I saw the battle was over. And I must return quickly. And I... Need you to return with me, Tigan. Alone. What? We need more of an explanation than that. What? I... Who is this man, Tigan? You remember me, Lady Isolde, don't you? Alistair. Of all the... Why are you here? They are Grey Wardens, Isolde. I owe them my life. Pardon me, I... I would exchange pleasantries, but... Considering the circumstances... This is rather fishy, Please, isn't it? Lady Isolde, we had no idea anyone was even alive within the castle. We must have some answers. I know you need more of an explanation, but I... I, I don't know what is safe to tell. Tigan, there is a Terrible evil within the castle. The dead waken and, and haunt the living. The mage responsible was caught, but still it continues. And I think Connor is going mad. We have survived, but he won't flee the castle. He has seen so much death. You must help him, Tegan. You are his uncle. You could reason with him. I do not know what else to do. Oh, Jesus. Uh, what about Al Eamon? Is he still alive? He is. He's being kept alive so far, thank the Maker. Kept alive? Kept alive by what? Something the mage unleashed. So far it allows Eamon, Connor and myself to live. The others were not so fortunate. It killed so many and turned their bodies into walking nightmares. Oh, Jesus. Once it was done with the castle, it struck the village. It wants us to live, but I do not know why. It allowed me to come for you, Tigan, because I begged, because I said Connor needed help. So there's some being of some sort in the castle which has been spawned by the mage, which is creating all of these dead bodies, all, all, all these undead, and he's for some reason letting these people live, but not killing them like he has everybody else. That's bizarre. What's going on? Do you think this evil could be some kind of demon? I... I do not know. Because if no, it's listening to begs, could it then it must, be a demon? it must at least be something I, I that has, like, a conscience. You must come back with me, Tegan! Please! Oh, God. Several this major mentioned. He is an infiltrator, I think. Uh, one of the castle staff. We discovered he was poisoning my husband. That is why Eamon fell ill. Wow. Eamon was poisoned. He claims an agent of Terran Loghain's hired him. Oh, of course, Loghain. I cannot say. He just wants to. He just wants to take everyone down. That that isn't isn't beside him. Ugh. 
<sighs> so I must stay and go alone. For Connor's sake. I promised I would return quickly and only with Tigan. Tigan, I know you could order your men to follow me when I return to the castle. I beg you not to. For Connor's sake. Why well, I get the feeling you aren't telling us everything? I... I beg your pardon? That's a rather impertinent accusation. Not if it's true. An evil I cannot fathom holds my son and the husband hostage. I came for help. What more do you want from me? Tigan, I do not have much time. What if it thinks I'm betraying you? What if she's been, like, possessed by this Connor. demon? And Please she's, like, acting back like with this. Me. Must I beg? Let me decide what to do. The king is dead, and we need my brother now more than ever. I will return to the castle with you, Isolde. <gasps> Thank the maker. I don't like this. Tigan? Don't like this at all. Bless you. Why does why does he need him in the castle though? It's not going to help at all. It seems you have little choice. I have no illusions of dealing with this evil alone. You, on the other hand, have proven quite formidable. Isolde, can you excuse us for a moment? We must confer in private before I return to the castle with you. Please do not take too long. I will be by the bridge. Maybe he'll go in and we can use the secret passage and then they won't know we're coming, maybe. That might, that might be a plan. Here's what I propose. Ah! I go in with Isolde, and you enter the castle <laughs> using the secret passage. My signet ring unlocks the door. Perhaps I will distract whatever evil is inside and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed. What do you say? Can't they do this? It's insane. What choice do either of us have? If your business with Eamon is important, you're going to have to go inside to find him. He's right. Without our Lehman, we'll never get the support we need. Sir Perth and his men can watch for danger at the castle entrance. If you can open the gates from within, they can move in and help you. I don't think there's anyone else who can help you. If you choose not to go, then it's up to me to do what I can. Here is my signet ring. It will open the lock on the door in the mill. Whatever you do, Eamon is the priority here. If you have to, just get him out of there. Isolde, me, and anyone else, we are expendable. Wow. I don't believe that. I'll rescue all, I promise. You are a good man. The Maker smiled on me indeed when he sent you to Redcliffe. So we are just going to send him with that woman? It seems so dangerous. But I can delay no longer. Allow me to bid you farewell. And good luck. Blimey. This this situation is certainly developing, isn't it? Can we speak to Harris? Move along, friend. No, he's still saying Thank the you. same usual rubbish. Christ. So we need to sneak into this castle where Ban Tegan has just walked into. So this is the secret passage. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Hmm. So we're in the basement of the castle now. We shall quick save, just so we can get a little bit of a base. What what's through this door? I don't know. Ah! Corpses, of course. Oh! Just battered him with the shield. <laughs> I shall do it. Okay. So obviously battles like that against like three or four corpses will be, be fine Hello? for us. Oh, what's this? Who's there? Is there anyone alive out there? Wait, you don't look like the Arlesser's guards. Are you from outside the castle? Uh, possibly. Who are you supposed to be? My name is Jowan. I'm a mage Lady Isolde hired to tutor her son, Connor. Until they, uh... The mage? Threw me into the dungeon here. Why? What have you done? You don't know? I thought everyone... Oh, it is him. I poisoned Al Eamon. What about the walking corpses? I 
I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So they left me to rot. Why'd you poison Arl Eamon? I was instructed to by Terran Loghain. I was told that Arl Eamon was a threat to Ferelden. That if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. You see, I'm a Malifica. A blood mage. You? A blood mage? Truly? I would never have guessed. Blimey. A blood mage. Well, that isn't good. I dabbled in the Forbidden Arts, and they condemned me to death for it. I thought Loghain was giving me a chance to redeem myself. But he's abandoned me here, hasn't he? Everything's fallen apart, and I'm responsible. I have to make it right somehow. I have to. Why is Arl Eamon a threat, exactly? He only said that Arl Eamon was dangerous to the nation. Why wouldn't I believe Terran Loghain? Because he's an ass. So Terran Loghain himself hired you? Yes. When the Templars caught me, they brought me to Denerim to await execution. Eventually, someone came to see me, alone. It was the Terran. I'd seen paintings of him, so I knew. I thought he'd have me executed right there. But he said I could make up for my crime. He said I would be helping the country. Why did Alison need a maid to choose her son? Connor had started to show signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the circle of magi would take him away for training. Connor? A mage? I can't believe it. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. Hmm. Yeah, maybe, oh, maybe his son's responsible. I thought that too. Connor has little knowledge of magic, but he may have done something to tear open the veil. With the veil to the Fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. Why would I still be frightened of a son becoming a mage? Because he would be taken away, forever. A mage cannot inherit a title, even the son of a powerful Arl. She's also a pious woman. Her son having magic was humiliating. Yeah. Ali had no idea of his son's abilities? No, she was adamant that he never find out. She said that he'd do the right thing, even if it meant losing their son, and that infuriated her. Hmm. How much magic did you teach Connor? Some, but he's still very young. He can barely cast a minor spell, never mind something more powerful. At least not intentionally. Like I said, he may have torn the veil accidentally. If he's involved in this at all, I really don't know. Mm, I think I understand. I never meant for it to end like this. I swear. Let me help you fix this. I say this boy could still be of use to us, but if not, then let him go. Why keep him prisoner here? Hey, hey, let's not forget he's a blood mage. You can't just set a blood mage free. Better to slay him. Better to punish him for his choices. Is this Alistair who speaks or the Templar? I'd say it's common sense. We don't even know the whole story yet. He wishes to redeem himself. Doesn't everyone deserve that chance? Like yourself? Yeah, I believe so. You mean? No, oh, let's shut up, Morgan. Everyone American. deserves a chance to redeem themselves in the Maker's eyes. This man, no less than any. I don't know. He is a blood mage. They're all just glowing as well. It's great. Give me a chance, please. <sighs> all right, so how do you make things right? I. Well, I tried to save anyone still up there. There must be something I can do. And after that, what happens? Afterwards, I assume I'll be arrested, or executed, or whatever people like me get. I'm tired of running from the circle. I need to account for what I've done. That's that's commendable, if true. I'm glad you think so. So what now? I'll let him out. You're letting me out? And what then? Don't, uh... 
So, 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 so say come with me? Yeah, come with me. I'm not sure that's a good idea. I'd like to help out, but I'm not so sure I want to follow you into danger exactly. Then help, just don't make things worse. I won't, I promise. I will find a way to fix this somehow. This is when he really transforms into a demon and actually murders, murders us all uh, where we stand, probably. So Morgan approves, Alsa disapproves. I thought Liliana would have approved as well, considering we, she was in support of freeing him. I don't know where he's even gone, to be completely honest with you. Right. How is everyone's approval rating, actually? Let's have a look. Alistair is warm. Morgan is warm. Liliana is warm. <laughs> you know, it's at 100. Uh, okay. So I think we've have we freed everybody. Uh, I, I say we've freed everybody. We've like checked on all the cells. I should say. I shall do it. I don't think there's anything else that we can check really. Does look like there's nothing else in. So, so what we shall do, I think, is end the episode here, guys, and we shall carry on our adventures in the castle in the next episode. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you have enjoyed. And I'll catch you in the next episode of Dragon Age Origins. Thanks again, guys. Have a nice day. Bye bye.